With nested virtualization, what we're going to do is, is we're going to have a Hyper-V host. This Hyper-V host is going to have a virtual machine. And we're also going to install Hyper-V on top of that virtual machine. And we use this a lot when we're talking about Hyper-V containers using things like Docker and all that. Because usually those containers are going to be virtual machines with their own operating system. Uh, and before Windows Server 2016, you couldn't do that because you couldn't have a virtual machine that hosted another virtual machine. But with uh, 2016, you have the ability to do it. Now, um, they go through and they have a GitHub script provided by Microsoft. So you actually have to go up to GitHub. Uh, but we can do an invoke web request, raw.githubusercontent.com. And this is from Microsoft. I can go into virtual, virtualization, documentation, master, Hyper-V tools, nested, uh, enable, enable, <laughs> E-N-A-B-L-E. There is no M there. It's a little typo, though. Enable nested virtual machine dot PS1. And then we will just store this little file, which will make you a nice little file that lets you have a nested virtual machine. Um, and what this is going to do is it will allow you to either do um, MAC address spoofing or I can do network address translation, which we'll talk about um, a little bit later. Now, there's another way that we can do it that's actually um, a little bit easier. But let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to fire off, uh, I'm going to fire off PowerShell ISE. So here is uh, PowerShell ISE. And the reason I'm going to do it in ISE is so that you can read what the heck I'm going to type. But if I wanted to do uh, virtualization, let's say I wanted Server 3 to be able to be a Hyper-V uh, host, I have to tell it that it's allowed to go through and do that. So the command that I would use is set VM, P-R-O, C-E-S-S-O-R, and I tell it the name of the virtual machine. I'll say VM name, and I'll say B-O-S-T-O-N, S-R-V-0-1. Now, this is a virtual machine right here. This is, a, uh, this is a virtual machine. This is the name of the virtual machine. So I'd say VM1. And then I want to go through and I want to say EXPOSE, V-A-R-T-U, virtual. Oh, I've got to click on it here. So I do hyphen. And I will say uh, EXPO, there we go. Expose virtualization extensions. And I do dollar sign true. So instead of having to download a GitHub script that does the NAT and does the spoofing, which I'll show you how to do in a little bit, I can just run this single command here, and it will be able to go in and pull in all that stuff. Now, what did I do? Put a, there we go. So I say expose virtual, what did I type this wrong? Set VM processor. That's weird. Huh. Okay. Anyway, here's the command right here. So set VM processor. You give it the name of the virtual machine. Here's the name of the virtual machine. And I say expose virtualization extensions. And I say true. And that will allow a virtual machine to run another virtual machine. Now, of course, that virtual machine that's going to be uh, running another, that's going to be a Hyper-V host, has to be running Windows Server 2016. Uh, it can be running Data Center. It can be running Standard. It could be running, uh, you could have it run Windows 10. You could have it run uh, Windows Server, Windows Hyper-V Server. Um, and it allows you to, uh, to go ahead and have a virtual machine that runs other virtual machines. And that's, that's what it's going to do. Now, there are some gotchas on this. Depending upon what it is that you're trying to do, um, your virtual base security may not work, your device guard may not work, hot adding dynamic memory and static memory. And what we're talking about here is I have the host machine here, and then I have a virtual machine in here, and then inside of here I have another virtual machine. You may not be able to add dynamic and hot add memory and do the proper checkpoints and live migrations and all that and save and restore the state on that nested, nested, nested virtual machine. So uh, just be aware you need to test it because not all of these are going to reliably work for you.